Thank you. <laughs> Kirby mentioned uh, yesterday or Monday, he's had some run-ins with you on the practice field and disagreements with you on the practice field before. What, what do you remember about those? Well, no, you were just saying just a little, just a little altercation between me and him uh, my freshman year. I just didn't know how to take hard coaching, but then when I found out, I so you, he would he would try to coach you up, and you kind of you wouldn't take no. to it well, and you fire back, and he'd fire back, and yeah, pretty much. When he, was it just your freshman year? Freshman and a little bit of a sophomore of fall camp. That's it. That, I imagine that does take some <coughs> adjustment, doesn't it? Uh, uh, Somebody like Kirby who tends to tend to be pretty intense. Is is, is that uh, your experience? Uh, yes, sir. He's a pretty intense coach, but you know, I just I adjusted well, and you know, it's just, it is what it is. How, how have you been able to overcome the? I guess Kirby talked a lot about your inconsistency, about making great catches and then other catches not so much. But then this fall, we've seen you running first team. What's what was the adjustment for you during the off season that's enabled you to to take that big step? Uh, just really just putting in a lot of extra work. You know, times when I don't feel like doing that, and I still have to get up and, and go get it. He also mentioned your special teams play. I mean, have you? How did you get yourself geared up for? I don't know, embracing that. I suppose. Well, I really just bought in. Or in high school, I didn't really play a lot of special teams, and I didn't know how serious it was till I got here. So when I got here, I just really locked in, and well, finally I bought in, and it's just been a help to the team. Um, so as you went through that process and and kind of bought in there, was there, did you have a, a motivation, I guess, is there anything back home in, in a yeah, Florida or anything off the field that kind of motivated you through that? Yeah, I got a lot of motivation, you know, really, my mom, my brother, just really my family and the people I care about. What's that position you play, is it a gunner hold up or something like that? Uh, which uh, R1. R1, and that's when you're basically blocking the other team's gunner. Mm -hmm. What have you found that J Jason Stanley, I think, might have been the best in the world at that? Was here before. What 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 are some of the things that you had to just learn to do to, in well, order to play that position? Actually, a couple of days ago, I talked to Judge Jason and how to better my technique, and he gave me some advice on just uh, standing the inside, don't let him uh, get inside, and just look at the inside hip, and it'll help you adjust when the uh, when the ball snap. <coughs> you said you put in a lot of extra work. What were the kinds of things that you did? Uh, really, just extra running, uh, extra balls at night and sometimes middle of the day or in the morning, whenever I had the chance to do it. Who would feed you? Who'd you go out there with you? Uh, me and uh, Kier Jackson and sometimes uh, really just a lot of the receivers. Um, so on the defensive end, um, so you're going up against uh, AJ Daniel and you see uh, Johnson and those guys who came in from junior college instead of high school. I mean, when they get here, how much more of a, a, a deeper understanding of the game do you see that they have from coming from a, uh, come from a college of program? I feel like uh, coming from high school or JUCO to a D1 or a big D1 like Georgia, you have to adjust. So I feel like they came in, they came in with the right mindset, uh, ready to work. So I don't think they had any problems just coming in and uh, with attitudes or with anything, they came in basically fit our program well and they came ready to work. So would you say that coming in from junior college, coming in from high school, is any different or is it kind of the... Uh, I, don't think, I don't think it's a difference <coughs> because uh, wherever you go that's new, it's going to be an adjustment wherever. So okay. it's different from JUCO or high school and then you come to college, there's a whole new world. When you were a freshman, even fresh or freshman last year, were you having to do scout teams and was that kind of a... Adjustment. I imagine you were always a starter, or at least a main guy in high school. Yeah, scout team. It, it was a big adjustment. You know, you gotta. It's a matter. It's just a mind thing. Uh, but I would say when I when I went to scout, it, it helped me get better as a player and as a person. I imagine you were always the other team's tallest player. <laughs> yeah. What What did that mean? Did you end up? Well, not necessarily. Not necessarily the tallest person. Just a the best receiver on that team receiver. to get a defense the best look as possible. Did that? Did you go up then against DeAndre and, you know, I guess, and into the second day <coughs> JR and guy? Did DeAndre, that help you? Baker, yeah, it helped me a lot. Just work on uh, different parts of my game. Is it a hit to the ego the first time they say you're going to be a scout team, but then you kind of get used to it and realize that that's how you can impress the coaches? Oh uh, yeah, pretty much. Have you have you finished up? 
I mean, you guys only can only take 70 to, to, to Nashville. That's a lot of really good players that end up getting left behind. Have you been able to share your experience with some of those guys that are probably pretty ticked off that they didn't even get to, to make the trip and trying to trying to impress where, where yeah, they can? Yeah, I, I kind of I tell anybody, uh, players before me, uh, just had the right mindset or just don't take it as nothing personal. It's just, you might you might have got out work or you might have you might have didn't do something well that you should have come uh, should have done well but really I just tell them just keep working hard and your time will come. Um, How important is a game like this for for guys that aren't necessarily frontline guys that may get an opportunity? Um, I don't know. I'm trying to remember back to Austin P. If, if you got in that game, but how important is a game like this to some guys looking for some chances? Uh, I feel like this game it's important for everybody because you never know when when you're going to get in and you never want to put bad tape on film. So I feel like even if you get in for one play, just make that the best play ever. Um, from a team perspective, uh, Kirby was saying the other night that this team hasn't scratched the surface of its potential of where it can go. Um, so as you kind of experience everything on a day to day, when are you able to, to see that? See that up? Bench on the most. Um, I feel like I feel like uh, every day. Every day we just gotta come and work. Uh, you know, even when the, the days is hot and the days you're tired and the days you don't want to do it, you just gotta come out there and work. So I feel like uh, the more chemistry and the more time we put in together, I feel like we'll, we'll reach our full potential. Speaking of hot, it's 